All right, guys, so the OnePlus Open. I've had this device since Thursday. When you watch this video, it will be Sunday. So basically two full days plus a little bit more on the OnePlus Open. I do have the green colorway. I'm just going to give you my first impressions. Nothing is scripted here. They didn't send this to me. I did pay for this with my own money. And we're going to talk about why I think this is a huge deal, why it's OnePlus knocked this device out of the park, what we get, the value bang for buck. I do have other videos dropping soon, all regarding the cameras, the video quality, the photo quality. I'm gonna show you some samples here in both video and photo, but a lot more in future videos. And of course, comparisons with devices like the Pixel Fold. But look at everything we have on the table right now. But before you do that, hit that like, drop a sub, and now let's get back to the open. Everything we get on a table, this is everything we get with this device. Not only did we get all of this, now granted, still expensive, but yet still cheaper than the Pixel Fold and still cheaper than the Z Fold 5. We get some of the best, if not the best earbuds you can buy on the market right now in the limited edition white colorway, the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. These are super clean and there's a little texture on there. Man, the matte white finish on there, incredible. They give us a case included inside the beautiful packaging that we had. We also get the 65 watt SuperVoc fast charging brick that you don't see in any other phones except for OnePlus phones, whether it's the Nord lineup of devices, the OnePlus 11, any of the, any of the phones from OnePlus we are getting the brick, the fast charging brick. And then of course the beautiful unboxing experience, the way this opened on the side, just an overall treat, right? Unboxings used to be a big part of YouTube, not so much anymore. Things have, have kind of leveled out and, and just chilled out with like straight unboxing videos. But anytime you get something like that, when you pay a price, a premium for a device, you want something like that. And first impressions go a long way sometimes as long as the device is good over the first week or two of using. And that's exactly what we get here. So not only that, think about this, cheaper than the Z Fold 5 and the Pixel Fold, but we're also getting more starting storage, double the memory, right? 512 gigs of storage and also 16 gigs. Well, not double the memory, but double the storage and 16 gigs of RAM in here just to start. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, this thing has been smooth, it's been fluid. Of course it would, right? I'm not expecting it not to be that way, but it's just been an overall really fun device to use over the last 48 hours. And of course it does have the adaptive refresh rate, it goes all the way down to 10 Hertz. And then, of course, all the way up to 120 hertz, depending on what you are using. The 2K display on here, the 6.3 inch display, which is wider and taller than the other folding phones out there, right? So wider than the Z Fold 5 and taller than the Pixel Fold. And look, you guys have, if you follow my content, the Pixel Fold, I loved that device. But unfortunately for the Pixel Fold, the OnePlus Open is now out and I have it in hands. And rest in peace, Pixel Fold. You shined bright for a little bit, but unfortunately you have now been replaced for the better and probably the best, if not the best, in my opinion, folding device in the US that you can currently get. Look how good this is. This in every way, and this is what I've wanted. First off, it's the thinnest and lightest out of the folding devices. But using this phone closed feels like a regular phone. It just feels like a regular slab phone. And then when I want to go tablet, not only do I open up to the huge, beautiful display with a better crease than what we get on either of the other. Look at that. It's so hard to see that crease on there. I really have to twist this to see that crease and you can barely feel the crease on here compared to the other phones. Now, granted, look, we all know 
sister company of Oppo. So this is not the first rodeo for them with folding devices. This is a refined device over years now. The third generation Oppo Find M3 just dropped when this came out as well. So this is basically the Oppo Find M3, just OnePlus branded with Oxygen OS, basically the same device and I'm here for it. I am so here for this device, right? The Pixel Fold has the giant bezels on it, which still doesn't bother me, but what do you prefer, that or something like this? Now, I've taken a bunch of photos with this device, and I'm gonna post some here. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna scroll through some of the photos that we have here, and then we're gonna talk about this. The portrait video on this device is actually super clean. Check out Jay Williams' channel. He dropped a video tonight, literally on, or last night by the time you're watching this, literally just a video of the portrait video on the OnePlus Open, and it is super clean. Very impressed with that. But here's some night shots on here. Today you can see the zoom, so up to 6x zoom. And this is just point and shoot. I'm not doing anything in post. This is what it is out of, the, out of your pocket, just point and shoot you can see how good some of these pictures look and here is a front-facing video and we just keep going with some of these pictures now look absolutely perfect day today the the lighting the sunlight was great and just a beautiful day to go out and grab some photos with a new device but this has been a treat portrait mode right here with, if you don't know about Wawa and their coffee, I'm sorry, it's your loss, but it's an, it's an East Coast thing, I believe. If you live on the West Coast and you know about Wawa, let me know. But you can see how good these pictures look. I do have some other ones here where the lighting is not as good. And But check that out. Check out the picture of the skies on here. So clean. Now, there are a few times where this did struggle in low light conditions, but that is going to be the case for most phones in the conditions that I was in. This is at night, completely at night, which it looks fantastic in my opinion. Another night shot here. The same sign at night, just a little bit closer. This one is with the portrait mode compared to the other one that was just point and shoot. This is in the daytime with the same one. My boy Sprite, and this is where it struggled a little bit. This picture here is in a room and it was fairly dark in the room, like almost pitch dark in the room. So you can see it did struggle a little bit with the lighting there. And again, low light, sometimes in my house, I like to chill in the dark, man. So we got some low lighting going on in the crib. Sometimes it just happens, but the photos on here, the video quality, I have been super impressed with. The cameras on the back, the partnership with Hasselblad, I think they did a fantastic job this year, giving us, in my opinion, the best cameras on a folding phone up to so far in the US. Now, battery life. Let's talk about battery life on here. A bigger battery than any other folding phone on here, and of course, the fast charging. Now, some of you might complain about wireless charging and this is how I wanna get into this. Wireless charging, well, let me start over. OnePlus changes the way you charge your device. And it's been like that for me. I've had the OnePlus 6T, the 7 Pro, the 8 Pro, the 9 Pro, the 10 Pro, and the 11, and now the Fold. So I've been using OnePlus devices for a long, long time. And the way I like to think about OnePlus and what they're doing with their battery, right? 65 watt fast charging on here, super voc, incredibly flat, incredibly fast. And I want you to think about it like this. If you were at a diner and you were drinking a glass of water and that water just needed to be topped off, right? You're not thinking about it. You're say you're having a conversation with somebody, you're eating your dinner, you're just sipping your water. The waiter or the waitress just walks by and they just top off or they ask you, you want me to top off your water? And you're like, sure, go ahead and top off my water. And then they're on their way and they're on about their business, right? That's what OnePlus is doing with their charging. With this device, I am just plugging it in for 10, 15 minutes here, once a day, maybe once every other day, and I'm topping it off. That's all I'm doing. I am topping this device off 
to get me through the day. I'm not charging this at night. I'm not throwing this on some slow ass wireless charger and just waiting for that turtle to just charge this thing up. I'm topping it off like somebody is topping off my water at a restaurant. And then I'm going on about my business. I get up in the morning, plug it in for 20 minutes, I'm out the door, I'm good until the next day, rinse and repeat. Maybe if I don't even do that in the morning, I come home after work, I might have 20, 30 minutes before I go to the gym, I top it off, I'm out the door in 15 minutes with a phone that's probably at 50, 60% if it was at like 5%. It's crazy, the fast charging on here, I'm for it. So wireless charging for me, it, until that picks up and gets to where it should be, we already know there, there's wireless charging out there that's 50 watts and it's there. It's not here, but it's there, but I don't care about it. This is all I need. Let me just top it off and go about my business. Let me know what you guys think about this not having wireless charging. For me, it's, it's I just don't care. It's not how I charge my phones. Ever since I've been using the OnePlus 11, that is how I went about my business. No wireless charging on the OnePlus 11. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. I don't use wireless charging at all anymore. And I had them over my house. But you know what I have over my house right now? I have OnePlus chargers and the red cable in pretty much every room in my house currently. Just waiting for any phone that I have, even iPhones now because they're type C, to just plug and go. And I'm perfectly okay with it. So the display on here, what we get, bang for buck, the photo quality, the video quality, the, the slimness, the build quality of this, this giant camera bump on the back. Again, for me, I kind of like it. I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first, but I am, I'm okay with it. My finger rests right here, and it really depends on the size of your hands, where your, your pointer finger is going to lean or learn, or yeah, where your pointer finger is going to sit, I should say. And it's just a very comfortable and light phone to use. Now let's talk about Oxygen OS. This is my favorite operating system to use on the Android side of things. Let me know which one you prefer. Is it One UI? Is it the Pixel? Is it Oxygen OS? For me, it is this because I come from an iPhone. For me, this is the closest when I first started using Android devices. It made me feel, it gave me a similar feeling, I should say, to iOS. And that's why I always preferred Oxygen OS over everything else. It's clean. It is not a lot of bloatware. I mean, not a lot of bloatware and a lot of things anymore. That was back in the day, but just a very clean experience. Now, I have come across some bugs. And one of the bugs, right, is say I open up a bunch of different apps on here and we leave them open. And this has been going on for a while now, not just on this phone, but on the OnePlus 11 that I use all the time. So say I'm using a bunch of different apps and we're opening them up and then I want to close <laughs> the apps. And I don't know why this never works for me. Close all never ever works for me. And it says it closed it. It even says it freed up the space, but they're still there. Close all again. They're still there. I cannot get rid of them. Let me know if you guys feel the same thing. And it's the same on the front of the phone here. So I'll just show you that. Let me get this password out of here. So if we do it here, close all. It says it freed up some more space. Your system is now in opt optimal and they're still there. They're all still there. I just cannot close them. It's the most frustrating thing. It's something so simple, but they just don't close. And it's been like this for me for a very long time. And maybe I have to turn something on. I don't know. Let me know if you guys experience the same problem. But that's the only downside I have with this phone. But that's OnePlus phones across the board using that feature, just trying to close out apps. The actual build quality of the phone is just so clean and so nice. I'm it's definitely my favorite looking folding phone that I've ever used. The alert slider, of course, I am always a fan of. And just like the mute switch on an iPhone, this alert slider works great because it's three different things. You can silence it, just put on your ringer or just put on vibrate and it works very well. Now flex mode on here, I've, I've gotten comments on like the unboxing here about flex mode. Flex mode does work on this device and you can sit there 
and browse content on here and just watch content split up like that. Now, the difference is, well, there's no difference. It's flex mode and you can call it whatever you want. You can do it and you're going to be able to watch content with this chilling. You're going to be able to record content like this with the camera and you're going to be able to consume content like this on the OnePlus Open. Now, the fingerprint sensor also has been fantastic. Let me just show you the fingerprint sensor again. I did show this in the unboxing video, how good this is. Not only the fingerprint sensor, but the haptics on this phone are excellent. I really, really am struggling to find something bad to say about this phone. It's more of the software issue that I did mention already. In my opinion, this is right now the new king of folding devices. And look, this is only 48 hours later. I might encounter some other things on here and I haven't really tested the battery out because all I'm doing right now is topping it off. So maybe over the next week, uh, I won't do that and I'll just charge it to 100 and then see what kind of daily use I get out of this battery. Instead of just doing the top off thing that I'm accustomed to doing with OnePlus phones, it's because it's just, that's all you need to do. You don't really need to worry about battery life when you can charge this thing up so fast. And battery life on OnePlus devices have been good for a very long time now. So the OnePlus Open, let me know what you guys want to see in future videos. But in my opinion, first impressions, this is my, my favorite new phone, my favorite folding phone that I've ever owned. OnePlus Open. I'll be back. Peace.